Claudia Romero is from Pega Grill, and she's a multi-time biz hacker, having taken the How to Find Customers Online course. Uh, and she is one of the digital ninjas and one of the all-star Elevate D5 participants. She uh, actually started her career with party time clowns uh, and has an entertainment background. Uh, and then with her husband, who's from Spain, started the Belmont restaurant and Pega Grill. And uh, word on the street is now they're actually starting a laundromat. So uh, in Claudia Romero, you have a serial entrepreneur and a lifelong learner. It's been great to have you back. And without further ado, Claudia Romero of Pega Grill. Thank you so much, Dan. You're going to make me cry. So um, before, just very briefly, I, I, I did this presentation rushing because it's been a crazy month that I mentioned before, thanks God. But I, I know I could do it better. I just want to say that before. So do I have to share my screen then? Um, oh, yeah, you, you put yeah I prefer you share your screen and advance your slides, unless you would rather I do <clears> it for you. Okay, give me one second, it's right here. Okay. I'm sharing my screen. Okay, can you see it? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. So, hello everybody, my name is Claudia Romero. I'm the owner of Pega Grill. I actually realized how my business story started with um, Dan and taking the how to find customers online. And he made us write a story of us and I realized that that was my beginning. I, um, I was a children entertainer since I was six years old. At 10 years old, I formed my own group with my sisters, my brother, and my cousins, and we started doing uh, parties in my native country, Peru, for my family and friends, free of charge. So then later on, I joined a bigger group, and then I started getting paid. And uh, when I moved to the United States, when I was uh, 25 years old, I actually opened my uh, party time clowns for the, uh, my corporation, pushed by my family as well. And um, my first, I remember that I was um, hesitant because I, I, I'm I, not an English speaker and I was, I barely spoke English back then, but I wrote my entire one hour show and I memorized it. And that's how my business story started um, as a children entertainer with party time clowns. So for this presentation, I, I prepare an Instagram lead. Uh, the goal was to do a, uh, a generation to to actually um, gain new subscribers because I have organic subscribers, but just like 400. So I actually need to increase that um, to attract new customers in my restaurant, which is in downtown Miami. <clears throat> so I use, uh, well, for my picture, I use Dolly. And uh, also for my offer, which was a BOGO offer, I started with um, my own picture of the, the Mijito wrap. And I asked ChatGPT uh, to help me uh, create my, my ad. And this is the first two images that it gave me. Then when I realized that the third one was too uh, palette, I actually gave ChatGPT the colors of my website. And this is what I got. Then I saw that the restaurant on the background doesn't look, doesn't resemble mine. So I said, remove the restaurant background. And let me tell you exactly what ingredients have my media wrap and that's, and I asked him, um, I asked him to include the name of the restaurant. And then the last and finish um, image, which is this, I did it with PowerPoint. I just included my logo and I said, uh, this is it. So I'm going to use Instagram and I will do a, a BOGO offer. And to do this, it took me like an hour and I, I probably saved one hour as well. And the, the one that took me the most was the Dolly 
images because um, I couldn't get, you know, the ones that I, I was really looking for. So my biggest task was uh, first finding my voice. I, um, it was very nice to hear from Chad GPT uh, that I was a very resilient person. So how I found it is because I copy and paste the story of me into Chad GPT and I said, help me find my voice. And then it, it told me that it was, I was a resilient person. I was uh, positive, uh, I wasn't afraid of change. And it was just positive things. I said, oh my gosh, nobody has told me this before. <laughs> and I actually said that to my husband. I said, why you didn't, you never told me this before. Okay, so I, I was saying, probably you did listen to this, that the biggest I had of all was finding my voice. I just copy and paste it. Uh, um, and, and a paragraph that I did about the story of me into chat GPT and I said, help me find my voice. And it just told me amazing things about who I am. Like I re I'm resilient, I am positive. I'm not afraid of change. I'm actually looking forward to it because it, it just takes, uh, it just gives me good things. Then I always, I mean, then I, I got better at prompting. I, I learned how to do AI PRM, BNI and the script, which I used to create a, a video for my husband's uh, 10 year anniversary celebration. And then uh, right now I'm doing my SOPs and all the tasks that are time consuming and, and also uh, learning how to create better images with uh, Dolly and AI. So I'm putting all these insights into action um, and I'm going to standardize my process and Thanks to, to ChatGPT, I found my voice and actually feel more confident. So what's next for me and my business? Um, right now I have a street closure, hopefully it ends in quarter by March next year. So I'm planning to launch outdoor seating and open for weekend brunch right now, just weekdays. I'm also transitioning to, um, I'm stepping out of the operations. That's my goal before, uh, mid uh, of the next year and I will I want to do more to be a CEO like actually do things like CEO does, does because I'm taking other classes of it as, as well and and that's what I want to do mainly and I also want to become pick a grill as a business which is 100% sustainable and I'm already transitioning to to eco eco-friendly practices of course, with these changes, I'm going to expand my team and I I want to also be more involved with my community. Thank you.